Throughout the ages, humanity has been witness to awe-inspiring revelations, unearthing monumental treasures from the depths of our planet, delving beneath the vast oceans, and venturing into the limitless expanse of space. Nations around the globe have relentlessly pursued the quest for knowledge and resources, sparing no effort in their relentless pursuit. So, it's no surprise that China has started digging a hole, delving deep into the Earth's crust that reaches an astonishing depth of 32,808 feet. The project, which has become China's deepest hole, commenced on Tuesday in the Tarim Basin, situated in the oil-rich Xinjiang province. Welcome, this is Rain Smith, and you're watching the New Africa Channel. China has cited scientific curiosity and exploration as the primary motivation behind this undertaking. By delving into the unexplored depths beneath the Earth's surface, China aims to unravel the enigmatic secrets that lie hidden within. President Xi Jinping emphasized the importance of deep Earth exploration in 2021, urging progress and advancements in this captivating field of study. As the world's second largest economy, China not only seeks to expand its influence on Earth, but also has ambitions to explore and conquer new frontiers both within our planet and beyond, including space. By digging this hole, its ultimate goal is to reach the Cretaceous system within the Earth's crust, containing rock formations dating back approximately 145 million years. This ambitious endeavor holds the potential to identify valuable mineral and energy resources while also aiding in the assessment of environmental hazards, such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. By undertaking this work, China aims to enhance its understanding of the planet's geological dynamics and secure valuable insights for the future. China's ambitious mission of drilling into the Earth's crust may also have additional hidden objectives. The country may secretly want to develop deep Earth nuclear bombs that can be tested without causing any nuclear radiation on the surface, thus avoiding harm to the environment. Also, China could potentially tap into deep Earth aquifers to extract groundwater, meeting the demands of its vast population. Additionally, China may be focused on advancing deep Earth carbon sequestration techniques, utilizing carbon dating as a scientific method to gain valuable insights into the Earth's secrets. This is not the first instance of such a project, and in fact, it is not even the deepest hole ever dug. For many years, there has been a race among the superpowers to dig deeper into the Earth's crust, with aspirations to even penetrate the planet's mantle. So far, the Kola well holds the distinction of being the deepest borehole in the world. It was drilled by the Soviet Union during the 1970s, reaching an immense depth of 40,230 feet. It's so deep that some locals claim they can hear the tormented screams of souls from the depths of hell since its creation. However, Work on the borehole ceased in 1992 due to extreme temperatures reaching 180 degrees Celsius. The collapse of the Soviet Union further contributed to the project's closure three years later. Furthermore, both the United States and Germany have made attempts at similar undertakings. The United States initiated Project Mohol in the early 1960s, but had to abandon it due to escalating costs. Germany, too, endeavored to accomplish the seemingly impossible in 1990, but that project, too, was soon terminated. The project, which is being spearheaded by China National Petroleum Corporation, is not without its risks. The borehole is being excavated in the Tarim Basin, a vast depression drained by the Tarim River. At the center of this basin lies the Taklamakan Desert, China's largest desert, spanning over 342,000 square kilometers. The borehole is situated in the hinterland of this desert. Due to the challenging ground environment and complex underground conditions, drilling such a deep hole in this region, specifically into the Earth's crust, is no easy task. Experts agree that the construction difficulty of this drilling project can be likened to a big truck driving on two thin steel cables, highlighting the potential risks and hazards involved. Another significant challenge is the potential encounter with extremophile viruses that have remained dormant beneath the Earth's surface. 
A recent study by the Deep Carbon Observatory has revealed that 70% of the Earth's bacteria and archaea reside underground. These microorganisms, some thriving while others remain inactive, are often referred to as zombies. They possess unique characteristics and differ significantly from those existing on the surface. As we delve deeper into this unexplored part of the Earth, we increase the likelihood of releasing long dormant diseases to the surface. While it may sound like a plot from science fiction, it is rooted in reality. The Arctic serves as an example, where warnings have been issued to prevent the melting of Arctic ice. Scientists believe that unknown and potentially harmful microbes lie dormant beneath these ice sheets, thriving in extreme conditions. The age of these microbes remains unknown, ranging from potentially decades to millennia. Once the ice thaws, these microbes could awaken from their slumber, leading to potentially disastrous consequences. Only time will tell if China will be able to succeed in its mission, but are all the benefits of digging deep into the Earth's crust worth the risk of a catastrophic event? While some may see that as a way to advance knowledge through technology, others believe that it's a hopeless cause since many have tried and failed. But where do you stand? Do you think humans should go the deep lengths to explore the Earth, or should we be satisfied with what we know now? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to like the video, share, and subscribe to the new Africa channel for more exciting future videos.